On Friday, May 1st, an estimated over 1,000 people from across Vermont, including nurses and other healthcare workers, descended on the State House in Montpelier. They gathered there for the Vermont Worker Center's Healthcare is a Human Right Rally. Anya Rudiger of the Human Right to Health Program at the National Economic and Social Rights Initiative was there to document the historic event. Okay, so you're going to the rally today. Can you tell yes. me why? Uh, well, I've actually been without health care. I moved to Vermont about a year ago, and I've been without health care for the last year. I pay for any doctor visits on my own. I currently work as a caregiver, and my... Actually, the woman who pays me um, doesn't consider me an employee, so since I'm not a legal employee, I can't, you know, I can't apply for CAT amount. I'm sort of, I feel like a second-class citizen, actually. Yeah. Why are you here today? Because healthcare should be a human right, and we're the only, you know, developed country in the world that hasn't figured that out yet. So I think it's about time that we did. At the Worker Center, we realized that since the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, health became our right, not a market commodity. This right is denied daily, along with many other economic human rights. So last year, the Worker Center adopted a human rights framework to help us evaluate policies to see if they meet our standards. This framework consists of five principles. Universality, equity, transparency, participation, and accountability. I'm president of United Professions, AFT Vermont, the largest and fastest growing state federation in the state AFL-CIO, and I'm proud to be a registered nurse and president of the Vermont Federation of Nurses and Health Professionals, the union that represents the Fletcher Allen nurses. I can't tell you how proud I am to be here with you today in what will become known as one of the greatest demonstrations in Vermont's history. Big thanks to the Worker Center. We support the Worker Center by being here and by donating to the Worker Center. So let's have a big round of applause for the Worker Center. So as a, a, a mayor of one of the eight cities in uh, Vermont that has mayors, I'm here today and uh, supported by the Burlington City Council, but also by five of eight ma mayors who have signed on to a letter uh, that I delivered to the governor early this morning. Let me read that letter. Dear Governor Douglas and Vermont legislative members, as five mayors of Vermont cities, we know how important the issue of health care is to our residents individuals, families, businesses, organizations, and employees in the communities where we live and serve. A commitment to health care for all aspires to a plan for health care coverage so that everyone is in and no one is out. This is an essential ingredient of social and economic equity for all of our cities across the state. The Health Care is a Human Right Rally on May 1st, 2009 at the State House in Montpelier is an opportunity for the people of Vermont to show their support in a call for government-managed universal health care. Our Senator Bernie Sanders. Thank you. You look great from up here. What today is about is participating in a struggle to transform the basic values of the United States of America. And what we are saying very loudly and simply is that health care is a right of all people, not just the privilege of those who have a lot of money. What we are saying is that despite the fact that the insurance companies and the drug companies have thousands of lobbyists in Washington, D.C., we are going to win this fight 
because millions of people from California to Vermont are beginning to stand up and demand changes in what is a very sick, wasteful, and bureaucratic health care system. Let me just say a very few words as to why we have the most costful, costly, wasteful, and bureaucratic system in the world, and why we get so little value for what we spend. And the reason is pretty simple. The function of a health, private health insurance company is not to provide health care, it is to make money. the system that we have got to end. In order to change what's politically possible, the Worker Center is building a network of people throughout Vermont who demand an ethical system and are willing to finance it. Face to face, grassroots organizing is the only way we can ever leverage enough power to beat their money. The few social protections that workers have struggled for were won by grassroots movements, often on May Day. The May 1st message to legislators and the governor is make health care a human right. We'll leave the details to you. Just get it done. How about you? Do you want to tell me why you came out here today? Why it's an important rally? I think that everyone deserves to have health care, not if they can afford it or if they can't, but like as humans we deserve to be treated if we're sick, so everyone should be able to have it and the only way to get that for people is to come out to rallies and show that we care about it. Thank you. What's your name and your age? Delilah Nacrasson and I'm 15. Thank you. And people here have been responding to using the human rights messages. Absolutely. Well, I think people believe it. They sort of, in their core, believed it before we put the words to it. Yeah. It's just not right to uh, suffer the way people do for the lack of health care. And even medical professionals think it. It's only the people that are profiting off of it that want to keep it the way it is. Why <laughs> why you came to the rally today? I'm a disabled Vermont worker. I worked at GE for 13 years. I got carpal tunnel bending jet engine blades in. I protected everybody, built, built F-404 parts, Apache helicopters. But when I got hurt on the job, every insurance company that GE had for me ripped me off. And to this day, I live on disability now. And Metropolitan wouldn't fulfill their long-term contract that I had in the state of Vermont doesn't want to enforce any laws. They're letting these people steal from us. Out and out steal from us. It's fraud, it's embezzlement, nothing happens. Nobody ever goes to jail for it. But if I stole the least little thing, I'd go to jail. Okay, what's your impression of the rally? Well, it was great. I mean, we, we, uh, we've been planning this for a long time. Uh, we, you know, we, we really went out to try to build a grassroots network across the state that was capable of changing what was politically possible and this was our first major test and uh, and we passed it. And you've used the human rights message, has that worked for you in the organizing Vermonters? Have they responded to that? Absolutely, you know what, what we found uh, is going into this is that you know just talking about how we finance health care is not enough you know it's it's uh, it is a rights issue, it's a justice issue uh, it's not just a financing issue, so people respond to that. We found that uh, you know almost everyone we talked to, literally uh, well over 95 percent, said that health care uh, should be a basic right. And uh, and obviously today uh, we were able to demonstrate uh, that uh, the the vast majority of people uh, not only believe in that, but they're they're willing to take action on that. Great! Congratulations <laughs> yeah. on the rally. <laughs> What's your impression of the rally today? It was a culmination of a year of a lot of hard work and I was so excited to see everyone that was here. But the work's not done. we still got a lot to do, but this was an awesome beginning. What are the next steps? The next step is keeping the momentum going, continuing to build the organizing committees around the state, and just keep pushing. Healthcare is a human right.